So my guy, Ira, trifected today. And congratulations to him. He's gonna make a TNT guy a lot of money. He's gonna make him happy. Cause Ira drives real good, real smooth, and he backs perfect. Like he's he can back it in. Like you don't even have to help him. He can do it. So he's going on TNT, you know, congratulations for trifecta today. You were you were a good student. Uh, he told me today, he said, he said, hey, I just want to thank you for everything. He goes, you were frustrated with me at times, and you didn't give up on me, and you helped me out, and I'm really appreciative. And, like, he was, he was very, like, happy with everything, and, you know, we had a great time. So, we're wishing him the best of luck. I didn't even ask him if he wanted to do a video. I didn't think about it and I was kind of trying to get out there to finish up the rest of the stuff I had to do because I still have stuff to do but I ended up getting my other guy out there he's back and great he's he's the same as Ira he's gonna get out there and he's gonna do good make a TNT very happy because all he's gonna have to do is teach him some of the macros and stuff like that and they're rolling you know, so they, they're both good guys. My other guy, my last one, he he's going to be testing out on Friday. So he'd be testing out on Friday. I'm picking up one of my old friends from the terminal over here. He We're going to go out to dinner tonight or something. So he's he's in town. He, he got COVID pretty bad. Steve, his name's Steve, little Steve. Little Steve's in town, one of my friends that like I've had in trucking for a long time. So he's in town. We're probably gonna go out to eat and you know hang out for a little while. Then I'm gonna bring him back over here, drop him off. He's getting some work done at on his truck. He he was telling me today he was out for COVID for a long time, and he told me that if he was out for 60 days, then Prime was gonna terminate him because he. You know that's the cutoff limit is 60 days off but because he had um he had a blood clot all the way in his lung they they um had to freeze that time because uh, the federal government says whenever you get a blood clot in an organ and you have a cdl that you have to have um 90 days of rest to before you can come back so they froze his time at for that 90 days of rest but he was still out longer with uh covid he, he had it pretty bad and you know it happens he i don't know where he caught it or you know it's out there it's in the truck stops and stuff people be safe out there wash your hands a lot you know every chance you get wash your hands just be mindful that there's a bunch of germs out there and i'm a germaphobe already I had COVID, but mine was nothing compared to his. But, you know, prime after 90 days they're gonna, of inactivity, he told me, that they they were going to separate him. So he got released from the doctor. He, he said he got released from the doctor. He runs a team truck with his father. So his father was out there solo. Whenever his father came back, they switched out, and he started running freight again. So he's out here. He said he ran over here to the, get some work done on the truck, ran a couple loads, I guess, to get some revenue on the truck. He told me that he's put enough money in his emergency fund that he didn't go negative. So that's that's good, but his e-fund's all the way down to like $500. But he told me he's never been negative in his truck and that e-fund is a good thing. And he said, put the max you can in the e-fund. Uh, I don't remember the exact number he told me. I want to say it was like 22 cents per mile or 20 cents per mile, something like that. But he strongly suggests doing an e-fund. So, you know, maybe you want to look into doing an e-fund. Definitely look into doing an e-fund because if you get that e-fund set up, then you have it in an emergency situation. It's always good to have that extra bank there in case something happens, like a rainy day. Luckily... You know, he's a young guy. He's 27 years old. He's been out here for five years now. And luckily, he has a good head on his shoulders. And he said, 
he said I'm gonna save 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 so he saved up he wasn't blowing his money on a bunch of stuff he really didn't need and he put that extra into that e fund so it took care of him he was blessed because he had that e fund and he paid that truck he paid that truck every time and he's about to turn that truck in next year and go ahead and do his ace lease he's ready to do that ace lease so you know that's real good he's gonna buy him a truck I kind of was like I don't know why you're buying a truck because he's teaming in that truck but he said money's good the trucks been good to me all the trucks I've had been good to me so I'm gonna just get that team truck and buy it ace lease it buy it and drive it till the wheels fall off and he's pretty smart so I, I trust him he knows what he's doing so he'll buy it he'll do a ace lease buy a tr truck makes money but like I said man that e fun is what really really helped him out so he he didn't get back in his truck yet and of course his dad was out for a while too but of course you know his his dad was um running the truck once he got well because he didn't have to be out as long but and like I said, Ira, I'm proud of you, man. You be safe out there, brother. Congratulations, purple gang, purple card gang. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Get my latest lives. Get my newest videos. Also, in the description, there's a link to fill out an application and get my recruiter. My recruiter's good. Don't forget to drop that referral code, COXDJO. Also, my phone number is 417-894-8098. Drop me a call, text me something.